Hi everybody. Today we are going to talk a little bit more about anatomy. So, anatomy. Um, what about? It's the building form uh, about how we draw ourselves or animals or plants and so on. And um, with anatomy, there are really a lot of things to talk about. We can go in depth about bones, we can go in depth about muscles and how they stretch on, stretch on bones and so on and so on. Or we can talk a bit, uh, about anatomy in more simple ways, like you see many artists doing with like um, the shapes, you know, that uh, construct the head and so on and so on. So there are many different ways to do anatomy, yes, yes. Uh, but we are going to talk about the last one. Um, like I said, we are going to talk more about uh, anatomy in the uh, process of defining shapes. And what do I mean by that? So let, let's take a look right here. So um, let's say we want to draw a simple head or a body. Let's say we want to draw a body. So, um, uh, we are going to try and improvise this one. So um, let's say we want to draw a simple body. Well, we can go all in depth with how you know, you see a lot of artists doing firstly like a stickman like this and then they put around all those cones and stuff like that. But well, we're not going to do all of that just yet. So firstly, we want to define uh, how the character is standing. So um, is the character standing? Is it is it? sitting and so on. So let's say our character is standing. Well, we're firstly gonna draw the spine cord. So let's say, uh, this is just a rough sketch, let's say is he standing or she is standing straight and looking towards us. So right here is the spine cord, you know, this is the spine cord. So um <clears throat> next up what we want to do is define other stuff in our painting so in our sketch sorry so the first thing is obviously where the neck goes and when the where the head goes so um we said this is the spine cord so right here is the starting point and the end point of the neck so um right here is about uh, in the middle of the uh, neck size so this is the neck size right in the middle of that right here is the um, the lowest part of the chin so we have to uh, send it right here all right now now we have the neck so what we're gonna do just for now um, but when we get more into anatomy we will do more um, frustrating works of art so right now we're just gonna draw a cylinder for the neck all right just a simple cylinder and i drew it a bit wrong because um i drew it like if it went up it's going to be more white than the down part and you actually have to draw it upside down so down at the bottom it's more white white than um at the top as you can see right um that's the importance of the neck all right so what else is there um right here in the middle of the or kind of a little bit downwards is the belly button so this is gonna define that uh, belly button let me just kind of erase this part and put it right here so this is the belly button part um, and all right so we kind of have all the basic parts next up we are going to um, define um, the gender of the character so let's say it is a male character uh, well then as you may know from uh, art classes the male characters have 
this kind of a chest in this kind of a shape while the female characters have more of a this kind of a shape of a chest all right you got that so um we got to wait a second uh so we got to do the shape like this all right so let's say it's a uh, male and we got the basic shape of the body this is just the basic shape all right so next up right here i like to draw like a ball so it's uh, on its side so right here it's like a ball to fake to help me more imagine the uh, lower part of the body so when we get more into anatomy we're gonna draw here the other sides and everything like that but right now let's start with the arms so the arms we are going to start by drawing two large circles right here and then we are going to just go like this we are going to draw a cylinder right here and another cylinder right here again this is just a sketch it doesn't have to be perfect it's obviously not but when we get more into anatomy we'll get more into the details so right now we just draw another cylinder like that it's not um perfect as i said and you will see many more artists drawing this part or uh the or both cylinders of the arm like this and this is ultimately correct but just because we are starting out we are going to draw like uh, so um like this so um for arms because uh, we are at the beginning we will just draw these two kind of squares and um uh, all right i drew them a little bit too big so the bottom part of the arms are supposedly the as big um the bottom part of the hand you know um this part right here is supposedly at the same distance uh, as the pelvis so right here all right that is the important all right so <clears throat> what next what next is a simple question but what i like to do is draw a simple line right here kind of curved line and it makes me that helps me imagine more about the uh, body of the line so we draw like this two shapes right here and these are the beginning parts of the legs right here these are the beginning of the leg all right um so what will we do right now is draw the legs so we draw them like this right like this to the clumps right there and we are going to add up more stuff like this and like this and once again like i did here with the circles we are gonna draw two circles right here next up what we are going to do is just do a small little thing like, like so we're going to draw a cylinder like i said before now uh, this creature isn't much of a human after all this is just a simple sketch and um, it wouldn't work very well but this is just to give you an imagining how simple the human body to draw is actually to draw <laughs> i kind of ramble on here so um the neck is a bit too big but um like i said this is the part of the chin we go like this we just um sorry. we make a big triangle actually kind of a triangle we make a trapezoid actually like this all right and then we make a circle and it's kind of looks like a bird doesn't it well anyway um it's actually really simple as you can see to draw the human head and the body it doesn't really look much of a human but you can kind of see how it fits the human body better but when we go more into it you will um 
uh, when we start this course, we will look more into specific parts of the body like the head, the arms, the legs, chest, and the details like the eyes and the hands and so on and so on. So, um, this is the part of the video where I have kind of nothing more to say. So, like I said, uh, this is just the beginning part and um, the uh, this is just to show you how we can manipulate the shapes and the human body to look as natural or uh, as, as simple as it can be. So uh, this is kind of just a simple introduction to anatomy. In the next video, we will be talking about the head. See you!